Welcome back to Mackenzie Woodworking. Our project today is a bandsaw box. And here it is here for a pin that I turn, which I'll be giving to a friend of mine. Uh, so uh, stay tuned and watch it being built. And this project is being brought to you by Windsor Plywood. Uh, they have more than 60 stores in Western Canada and the United States and they'll help you out with all your projects so go on down and see them. They've got a great array of high hardwoods as well and plywoods and everything you need so go on down and see them. I've laminated two pieces of um, a two and a half inch walnut together and here I am over at the compound saw and I'm just cutting the ends at a seven degree angle. And there it is there that you can see the angle and then uh, once I get that cut then I'll take it over to the bandsaw and cut the side. Here I am in the bandsaw. I'll uh, just adjust the, the width, just to take off the edge. So the front and the two sides will be at a seven degree angle. And uh, so that you can see the grain. There it is there. So we're just uh, running that through. And I've tilted the uh, bandsaw uh, so that it'll run on the uh, same angle as the end miters. And there you can see the end. And what I've done is reverse the grain so the grain comes together like a herring bone. And so that you can see that in the front end and the ends. And there it is there. So I've sanded it. And you can see the uh, top and it runs all the way along. And what I've done is uh, squ squared up the top to the bottom as well so that it's uh, 90 degrees and what I'll do is just make a pencil mark now and so we'll proceed to cut the end off. There's the end, it's been cut off. We just cut that on the bandsaw. So it's a quarter inch piece that's on the back side of the blank there. And once that's cut then I can uh, measure out where I'm going to do the opening for the drawer in the front. And it was important that I uh, had the uh, the bottom and the back will be 90 degrees to each other so when you cut it on the bandsaw so there it is I've got the front taped off and I'll just make some marks all the way around so I'm only coming in about a quarter of an inch all the way around I just use my fingers uh, gauge and just run all the way along the block and then I can just make my quarter inch mark I like using painters tape on this so that you can see the lines not fighting for it, I'm looking for it. Especially in this walnut, it's quite dark. So there it is there. Like I said, there's a quarter inch margin all the way around. So I'm just marking out my uh, radius on the corners. What I like to use is socket sets. Everybody has a socket set around there. Uh, great for a small radius and uh, you can uh, look at different sizes. What I'll actually show you uh, how I pick because um, uh, even though you may have a quarter inch blade or five sixteenths or three eighths, every blade will run a little bit different on the corner. So I uh, tend to run a sample and then try it. But uh, so what I'm using here is a three quarter inch deep socket just basically because it's easier to hang on to but whatever you have but if you're looking for something for small corners a set of uh, sockets works well and they don't have to be very expensive ones so you can see I've marked out my corners there and I'll come in with a straight cut from the very end you can see where I ran the line right through by the pencil there I'm just showing you the socket that I was using it's great for a small radius. So there's a shop hint for you. So what I'm showing you here, here's my sample piece uh, that I ran. So I, um, all I did is just uh, I took a piece of wood, stock wood, and uh, ran a quarter inch mark all the way around and then went to the bandsaw and just uh, let it cut where it felt like there wasn't a lot of tension on the blade. And then I'll just measure it up with a socket. And you can see that the socket works perfectly in the corner. And that was done freehand. I, I didn't have a mark on that board. I just got to the corners and then just went around where there wasn't a lot of tension on the blade or the saw. I'm just marking it down here. So that was a three quarter inch 
socket. And that works good. Here I am and I've just started in from the very end. And hope that my shoulder and arm's not in the way. I like using a pencil with an eraser on it whenever you get to the corners and stuff. Whatever I'm making the radius on the corners, I uh, actually push forward and sideways on the blade. And what that'll do is uh, it'll keep the blade tracking as it going, goes around the corner. Actually, this blade probably could have been changed, but it seems like we never change them enough. We always push them to their limit. But uh, so we just fall right around long. And so what I'm cutting out here is actually the uh, the drawer that will be going inside the band bandsaw box, and I'll follow all the way along here. get to the other corner. There we go. Never try and take this out with the bandsaw going. You'll ruin your blade or better yet ruin your fingers. So and the blades turned off and stopped and I pull that out. You can see how I can separate them the end there and it slides right in. Now what I'll do is just uh, cut off the front and the back of the box and you'll see here I'll have to move the fence. Everybody's probably thinking why didn't I just flip it around? Well it's because the front is sloped so I want to make sure that I'm not cutting off too much. So. So there's the back and I've moved the fence along so that I can because I want the quarter inch to be at the top of the the drawer and there's the front cut off and you can see that the bevel on it. Now we're just doing the pocket and you always have to be careful that you don't flip this around when you're working on it so as soon as I get it cut out and I pull it out of my blank I actually put an X on the top of it so I know what side is what, where it's going to come out from. There, the back's been glued on and the sides have been uh, glued on the uh, front and the back of the drawer. You can see it fits in nicely. Now I'll sand these. I like to hand sand them. Uh, I, um, I find that uh, power sanders and bell sanders and stuff take off way, way too much uh, material for me. I, I like just uh, basically giving a hand sand. What I do is I just spray some uh, glue on a, on a stick and then wrap sandpaper around it. And I'll have one, one rounded edge on it and I'll roll my sandpaper on that edge. So in case I have to do any inside sanding or anything. You'll notice on the inside of the drawer, the little box, um, there wasn't a lot of sanding gun and I just sort of knocked off any fur that was on the inside because we're going to flock the inside of it. Um, and uh, you, you, you can see the bandsaw marks there from the blade, but uh, they'll be all taken up by the paint and the flocking material. So. And I've already sanded the inside, but I'm just going to give it a sm another smooth sand on the inside of the box. And make sure all the outside is all sanded up. There we go. So I've sanded it and now I'm in the spray booth. And if you notice, I've taped the inside of the box. I don't want any uh, lacquer or finish. Uh, this is actually sprayed with lacquer. So I've uh, given it uh, four coats of spray. So, uh, and what I've done is I masked the inside of the box 
because you don't want any lacquer or whatever you're using or oil or anything on the inside of the box. You just want a natural wood. So whenever you paint your flocking material in there, uh, that it'll bond. And I also put in a, uh, a, uh, a couple of boxes, a saddle to hold the pin on, on the inside of the box. So uh, whenever the uh, pin goes in, it'll, it'll be raised up off the bottom. But there it is there, it's all finished. That's four coats and you can see that I've put the handle on the front of the box and I just cut that out on the bandsaw and married it to the front of the box. You can see it there and I, what I do is just put it on and I sand it smooth so it flows right in. And then on the top of the box uh, there'll be a, a card holder. So I, uh, the uh, cutoff from the end of the block uh, which worked out good. I uh, just mounted that on top and then put a little stop block on the front and uh, sanded that down smooth right into the box. So that'll be for the cards up top and this pen will go inside the uh, the drawer there. And you can see uh, I, I put a piece of raw material behind it. That's the material that I started with. And you can see what we're ending up with. So. There's my flocking material. It's basically like a shaved felt and my, my base paints and the uh, container that I use. Uh, so uh, the flock goes in there. Uh, I only use two colors. Uh, you can get an array of colors of this product, but I only use the uh, green and the red. And you can see the inside there now, and you can see the little saddle that I put in there for the the pin to sit on top of it so it's easier to grab. So, and uh, what I'll be doing is doing it in green. Uh, the gentleman that's getting this is English, and so we, uh, the green looks like a British racing green to me. But before I do that, I'll be knocking it all down with 4 aught steel wool. And what I'm going to show you here, never use it, the bat sprayed out of the bag or the box or whatever you're using. Unroll it give it a pull and make sure there's nothing that's uh, sometimes there's bigger uh, pieces in it then uh, refold it and make yourself a nice pad and uh, this is a small project so I'm gonna fold it over and then I'll knock down all the surface you can see everything that's been sprayed is going to be uh, flattened down and what this will do is even off the top of the surface and get rid of any orange peel now just continue to go all the way along and do the front and then I'll wax it I've used uh, Brie wax for years uh, this can here is probably five years old and we use a lot of it but you only need about a thimble full of it to do a small project so I'll uh, coat all this and uh, what I usually do is let it sit for about a half an hour just for it to evaporate a little bit and that'll go into all the pores and, and uh, give it a really nice smooth finish like a piece of fine furniture which it should be and I coat the entire drawer now. Uh, I never sprayed the out, outside of the drawer, but I'll, I'll coat it with wax all the way along and all the back so it'll glide in and out of the drawer, uh, the cavity of the bandsaw box. So this is the dark walnut and it works good with this. I'm careful only to be doing the top edges, not to get any of the wax on the inside. I don't want any of the wax going inside of the area that's going to be uh, uh, flocked. So, but I always do my waxing first because I don't want any of that black or anything getting on the inside of the drawer. You see, there it is there, and the sheen that you get from it. So again, what we did was we sprayed that in four coats of lacquer, 
and that was semi-gloss. Then I knocked it down with steel wool and then waxed it. And here we are painting the inside with the green. So what I do is I, uh, I let this dry overnight, so I put one coat on it, uh, let it dry, and then put a second coat on it. As soon as you put on the second coat, so you want to be a little faster on the second coat, and then I, I put it into a box and then we spray our flock into it. Um, if you're doing this, it pays to buy the kit uh, with the flocker tube. You see that yellow tube there with the holes in it in the background. But there it is there. So we're, and I'm just showing you on the side, whenever you get to your top, don't try and paint it, just dab it. Just dab it on the sides. And what I do is um, I'll go around and do all the hard surfaces first. An area that takes a little bit more time. And then I'll go back and fill in the, the great big voids. But uh, whenever you get to the edge, just use the edge of your brush and tap it on. Don't try and paint it. And then you won't come up on your surface. Well, this is the first coat. And what I'll do is I'll let that dry and then put another coat on it and then we'll spray the uh, flock into it. And that's a pretty easy application. While, while the paint is wet, you uh, uh, want to spray it into it. And then leave it for two days. Don't dump it out. Leave it within the inside of the drawer. There it is there. You can see the inside of it. And there's the pen sitting on the cradle. And you can get a close-up look at the uh, finish that the Brie Wax gave it. So I hope you enjoyed this project. And if you're a pen maker and you want to build a box, there you can see from out farther. This walnut came out beautiful. And I like the way that the, uh, the ends of the box and the back look with the, uh, with the herring bone on the walnut. So please uh, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos. And if you like that, give me a thumbs up and I'll uh, produce some more videos. Thank you.